What's going on everyone? Today we're going to be talking about Bitcoin and uh, right now Bitcoin is at $59,000. So what we're going to be really talking about today is will Bitcoin rise or will it fall? Will it suffer a dip or will it suffer a crash? Will it continue in a bull market or will we go into a bear market? So personally, I think I think Bitcoin will continue to go up, but I really do think like we've been around 59k 60k for too long so whatever happens is going to happen big so yeah pretty much if we go up we're gonna go up big if we go down we are gonna go down big we've been stagnant for the last month or not last month uh yeah last month we've been stagnant only 3.61 percent of growth for a full month and it's really it's really been fluctuating it's been up and down yeah we're good in the last three months but that's because of this month right here in January, we had huge growth in Bitcoin. And then this after that, it just started going down. And then it started going back up and then it started going down. And now it's leveled out here. But you can see at the three month chart, we have here's the low here. And then here's the low here around February 28th. And then we have another low and then another low. We're not going to go below 55K. That's why whatever happens, it's going to happen big. And most likely it's going to be it's going to go up. Like you can you can just see the trend, the pattern here. It's going up, and it's actually going in a diagonal pattern, and it's going straight up and straight up. And now you're seeing less dips here. It's not dipping as low, and it's not going as high. So we're really we're really at a weird place with Bitcoin right now. But it's at it's really it's really good right now because if you just look here, it reached 61k. That was the new high, and then it dropped down to its new low. It's old low used to be back here and it's new high used to be back here. And now you're seeing that the lows are getting even higher and the highs are getting higher. So we had a high here of 57K and then we had a high here of 61K and now we're moving up. We actually touched 60K earlier today and uh, yeah, right there, 60K. And now I really think within the next week, we're going to be testing new highs on Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is definitely about to have a really good week month whatever you want to call it uh it's well it's april 11th i really feel like bitcoin by by the end of this month bitcoin should definitely be at 65k or maybe even 70k let's go down here and look at what the uh bitcoiners have to say about this so there's a lot of talk about bitcoin here they're talking about the, the minor revenue hitting all-time highs and as you know bitcoin there's only a certain amount of Bitcoin, so after that, no more Bitcoin can be mined. And that's why people are making more money off of mining Bitcoin. They're mining it more and more and more. And since this is happening, Bitcoin is going to be in scarcity. So then once all the Bitcoin is mined, people people aren't going to be able to mine Bitcoin. People are going to be hogging Bitcoin. They're going to be buying it. Institutional investors are going to be taking Bitcoin and having it in their portfolio. And it's going to make it harder for the everyday investor to acquire Bitcoin. So you definitely want to get you some Bitcoin now. The, the mining revenue is going up, which means that people are mining Bitcoin more. So we're going to reach that point where all the Bitcoin is mined. I don't know when that's going to be, but it's definitely going to happen. Uh, let's go over here and look at this post from Benziga. And it says that, uh, let's, go, let's keep scrolling down here. Uh, let's keep scrolling down. They're I, they're pretty optimistic on Bitcoin. They actually have some good points. So let's keep scrolling down here. They're really optimistic. I'm optimistic on Bitcoin too, but I I don't think that we're gonna see 200k within a year. And that's what they're that's what they're predicting. I mean, 200k in a full year. Yeah, we we can do that, but it's it's highly unlikely that we get 200k by the end of the year. And if anything, I would say 100K by the end of the year. But 200K, that's that's pushing it. If, if Bitcoin is 200K by the end of the year, then Ethereum will have to hit 20K by the end of the year. And Dogecoin would have to hit $20. Or not $20. I would say Dogecoin would have to hit about 10 maybe a dollar to $5. But everything is really going to be following the same track. And then let's talk about the stock market as well. The stock market, when the stock market actually drops... People are, are going to take their money out of Bitcoin to recoup their losses over there. And that's not going to be good. That's when we're going to see dips in Bitcoin. I mean, 
just think about it. The stock market actually dropped around this time right here. What do you see? You see Bitcoin goes down, but then it starts going up again because after people recoup some losses, they put their money back in. Or maybe they lose more money and they decide that wasn't a good idea, so they just go ahead and put the money back in and it jumps. But then again, you see the market goes down, Bitcoin goes down. So Bitcoin kind of follows the market and the market kind of leads the direction for Bitcoin. But Bitcoin won't crash due to the stock market. Like if the stock market crashed, Bitcoin would go down, it would dip. But then people would realize that it's a much better investment than the stock market. And then they would put their money right back into Bitcoin. But I definitely think Bitcoin is the more, the more solid investment when you're talking about stocks. So over here, this says, is Bitcoin following S2F model how a 200K top could be in sight? Now, topping out at $200,000, uh, that, that's, a, that's a really large amount. So... By the end of the year, that's really optimistic. I would say Bitcoin 200K, expect that next year. Don't expect that this year. If it jumps to 200K, expect it to drop just as fast as it jumped. Just like how just like how Dogecoin just now recently dropped. Let's go back over here to Dogecoin and look at this really quick. Just how Dogecoin recently dropped or jumped, it dropped just as fast as, as it jumped. But it didn't drop all the way, and Bitcoin will be the same. Bitcoin will not drop all the way. But it will drop once it hits a huge jump. Everything drops once it jumps huge. This jumps huge right here. It drops a little bit. Jumps huge, drops, jumps and drops. Like everything will go down. What comes up must come down. And I'm not being pessimistic towards Bitcoin. I really do. I really, 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 really do have like a good view on Bitcoin. But let's go over here and look at this chart here. Okay, so... This is the chart that they're predicting Bitcoin is following. Now, let's open this up inside of a bigger screen. Put this here. Okay, so let's scroll in on this chart. Now, this chart, they're predicting, <laughs> they're predicting that Bitcoin could possibly even reach a million to ten million dollars. Now, if Bitcoin runs out and there's no more Bitcoin, in which it, they will run out, there will be no more Bitcoin once people mine all the Bitcoin, Yes, it's going to be in scarcity and so many people are going to be investing into it that people are all going to want Bitcoin. They're going to hog Bitcoin. They're going to be buying it left and right. But they're saying by 2025, they're really expecting it to be $10 million. I mean, that's a little bit too optimistic. I would say $1 million by 2025, but $10 million, that that's pretty crazy. But yeah, I, I, I see where they're coming from with this chart, though. Okay, so they said before 2010... Bitcoin wasn't even a dollar, they're saying. And then they're saying that it goes up to $10 right here. And then they're saying that it goes up again to $100 by 2013. And then right between 2013 and 14, it was around $500. That's when Bitcoin has a little spike, but then it dropped down again. And then it was around $700, $800. And it consolidated it to around $400. And then Bitcoin continued to jump. You see where there's blue lines and green lines up here. It continued to jump to 2016 and 17. It was around $1,000. Well, right below $1,000, really. And then right at 2018, they're saying that it's jumped and it's jumped and it's jumped. Now, if you look right here, right where we're at, 2021, the, at the yellow dots right there, if you come over here, they're accurate with that. Like, we're right below there, so we're right at $60,000. Last time we had yellow, the, you know, the, the yellow dots right here on this mark. And let's read what the yellow dot says. It says, Bitcoin price color equals on-chain signal. Red is overbought. Blue is oversold. Okay, so red is overbought blue is oversold so we're more oversold right now we haven't been overbought but we do know when we get overbought it jumps but then it drops really fast so expect a huge jump in bitcoin because after the yellow after these these yellow dots here you can see the red dots are the overbought dots so the overbought the yellow dot is just neutral so right now we're actually neutral in bitcoin but we're coming off we're coming off of an oversold period with Bitcoin. And that's why we really haven't been growing as much. But then we just started taking off this year. And then that's why we're at the yellow. Now we're not oversold. We're not overbought. But we are about to be overbought in Bitcoin. And something big is about to happen in Bitcoin. And when that gets overbought, it will go up huge. But then it will drop huge. So 
Bitcoin's next jump could be all the way up to 100K. So the next bull run that we have in Bitcoin is going to take us all the way up to 100K. But expect it to go all the way from 100K, maybe down to 70K, maybe down to 60. But yeah, expect it to drop once it does go up. So Bitcoin, we, we definitely have a good price target for Bitcoin. I would say definitely expect 100K by the end of the year. And uh, let me pause this really quick. So yeah, definitely expect 100K with Bitcoin by the end of the year. And I would say by the end of the next year, 200K. I would say every year, I really do feel like Bitcoin could go up 100K. Because crypto is just getting really huge. Bitcoin is in scarcity right now. Like, well, not right now, but once the miners mine all the Bitcoin, Bitcoin will be in scarcity. So people will be thriving to get their Bitcoin. But yeah, uh, if you look over here, we, we really are overbought we were overbought and then that's when everything starts to jump and then we start to oversell because it starts to get stagnant people see that we haven't seen much growth so people are like all right we think bitcoin's about to drop so up here they're like okay we're gonna sell bitcoin right here and this is where they start selling bitcoin and they're like oh wait bitcoin just dropped why did it drop maybe because you sold it <laughs> and then that's when people start buying it again and they're like oh wait it's jumping again and then they just, they just hey sell it and then they buy it back after they sell it and then they they sell it again and they sell it again and now that they see bitcoins at new lows at 54k everyone starts to buy bitcoin again and then right when it goes up everyone wants to sell bitcoin and then it goes down people want to buy it goes up they, yeah you you see what you see the you see the charts here like people are indecisive with bitcoin bitcoin itself is indecisive bitcoin will move whatever way the people move it so if people buy Bitcoin a lot, Bitcoin's going to go up. If people don't buy it a lot, it's going to go down. If people are talking about Bitcoin a lot, it's going to go up. If people are not talking about it a lot, it's going to go down. Now, something really, really important that you need to think about. Let's go to Google Trends and then let's look at the state of Bitcoin right now and what Bitcoin is doing. So let's, hear you, let's go over here to Google Trends and see exactly what Bitcoin is doing. Okay, so let's type in Bitcoin currency and for the past 12 months you can see how bitcoin has been moving and this is for web search uh, i could do google search or i mean i could do a um, youtube search but i'm just going to do it for the web right now um but yeah this is the state of bitcoin or people searching on google but uh, more or less though let's see let's go back okay so Bitcoin was at its peak right here at January 17th, that says. All right, let's move that dot up here. Yeah, Bitcoin was at its peak all the way up here. And what was that date? All right, so that date, January 10th to January 16th, was the highest point for Bitcoin on Google Trends. January 10th to January 16th. So let's go all the way back to January 10th to January 16th. That would be all the way back here. January 10th, Bitcoin hit its all-time. Well, at the moment, that was Bitcoin's high. Like That was Bitcoin's all-time high at the moment. It was searched a lot. It had huge growth, huge growth. It kept growing, it kept growing, and then it hit an all-time high. And then Bitcoin starts going down because it hit an all-time high, and people start selling it because they want to make their profits and lock them in. And then here again, the 26th, all the way up to about the 20th of February. Let's look at that. So from the 26th all the way up to the 20th of February up here, you can see Bitcoin starts to go up. The Google Trends starts to go up. So really, you want to follow Google Trends. That is, that is your best friend when dealing with Bitcoin. As you can see, everything for Bitcoin has went down. But when that happens, it always goes up because then people see buying opportunities. Right now is a buying opportunity for Bitcoin. So instead of the last 12 months, let's now go to the last 30 days for Bitcoin and see how it's been doing. It's actually been going down for the last 30 days. So March 13th, let's look at March 13th. One second. All right. So now we're going to be looking at March 13th for, for Bitcoin. March 13th. Oh, what do you know? It's at a peak. And then you go over here and you look, it's at its peak. It starts going down, it starts going down. Right here is where it's trading sideways. You come over here and we're trading sideways. Yeah, as you can see, we're still trading sideways here. And really, 
Google Trends is your best friend when you're dealing with Bitcoin. And right now, as you can see, we are due for another jump in this chart right here. For this 30-day chart, once it goes down like that, it always starts to go up. So Bitcoin is about to jump soon, according to this chart and according to Google Trends and how much people are searching for it. And you come at the last seven days, we've actually been growing more. As you can see, the high, barely, it barely almost hit 100. The high was only at 97 at April 5th. But then we come over here later on in the week, and now you got a high all the way up here, which is at 100. I'm trying to click the chart, but uh, I guess my fingers are too fat. It won't let me click it. But yeah, up here you have a, a high of 100. So let's look for maybe, let's just look at the past day for Bitcoin. So for the past day, Bitcoin actually reached a height right up here at the 11th which is today, but right around 6 to 7.44 a.m. All right, so about 7 a.m. Let's see. So if you look about around 7 a.m., they're saying Bitcoin was at its highest search point, 7 a.m., and it actually had a spike right around there, and then it jumped and it dropped. So Bitcoin, it's, I really do think we can see really big rise in potential in Bitcoin. We're definitely about to go up very soon. So definitely have you some Bitcoin in your positions. And if you look for the last four hours, Bitcoin has been very hot, very much searched for right now. Then you go over here, you look at the last hour, Bitcoin, very hot. It only shows it all the way down there because they don't check for the last minute. And yeah, the last minute can't be accounted for because it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> But yeah, this whole hour Bitcoin has been hot. So I want to I want to see what Bitcoin is like for YouTube searches now. So Bitcoin is up and down for YouTube searches and it's obviously going to be different from uh you from Google. I would say more older people are going to go on Google and type in Bitcoin. Like more older, more established investors are going to go on Google and get their information for Bitcoin. But then you got the young millennial investors like myself. I go to YouTube for anything for everything really and yeah people don't do that like in institutional investors they don't go to youtube to find out bitcoin information they look up hard facts on google themselves and what people on youtube do is they look up hard facts on google but then they'll go ahead and they'll put it on youtube so you're getting the you're getting secondhand facts you're getting it from someone else why not get it from the source but yeah, let's go over here to YouTube and then let's look for the last 12 months. So the last 12 months in Bitcoin, you can see it's it's been doing a lot. Like towards the beginning of the year, it really wasn't searched too much. And now it's been doing a lot. And then when you compare that to the web searches, the web searches, it's kind of similar, but not as much. Because there's more millennials investing in Bitcoin than there are older people. And that's why you're seeing the spikes on YouTube. They're much bigger more people are searching on YouTube. I actually want to look for the last five years to see what Bitcoin's been doing. Bitcoin, for the last five years, the highest Bitcoin has been, has been actually way back here in 2017. So right there is the highest point for Bitcoin in 2017. I'm trying to get the exact date here. All right, December 2017 was the highest point Bitcoin has ever been on YouTube search analytics. So let's go all the way back to 2017. December, that was the highest for YouTube search analytics. And as you can see, it was where Bitcoin hit its all-time high in 2017 back there. That was its all-time high for 2017. Not for now, but for 2017, that was the all-time high. And that's when it spiked. So that just proves that Google Trends is really where you want to be. Like, as you see, like, Bitcoin isn't as hot as it was in 2017. Although it looks like it's very hot, it's not as hot as it was. Also, YouTube wasn't as hot as it was in 2017 as it is now. So let's look at the web search for 2017. As you can see, now we're getting somewhere else. Now it's more hot for the Google search than it was on YouTube. Now, as you can see here, we're jumping, we're dropping. And I, the next spike that we have is going to go above both of these spikes. And that is when we're going to hit 20, uh, 100K. So expect to see 100K in Bitcoin sometime this year. I don't know when, but I do know we are going to hit 100K in Bitcoin this year. So definitely watch out for that. And if you like this video, 
So yeah, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Check out the description and get your one free stock when you sign up for Robinhood. So click that link inside the description and get your free stock now. And like and subscribe and I'll be back with another video.